on the occasion of 74th Republic Day, I extend my greetings to the public of Andhra Pradesh. It is 73 years since the Constitution has come into being. The Constitution is imbibed with the highest levels of human values and took shape under the supervision of stalwarts like Dr. Rajendra Prasad and Baba Sahib Ambedkar. The essence of the 73-year-old Constitution is being carried out by state government in true letter and spirit in the past 43 months of the governance. Establishing that our state government is not a government of words, but a government of deeds. We have brought in real Gram Suraj in just 43 months, which cannot be seen anywhere in the country. Village, ward secretaries and volunteer system from an important element to realize Gram Suraj. State government is following the constitutional spirit of giving equal opportunity to everyone looking beyond caste, religion, region, and political affiliation. Government having realized that no serious efforts was made earlier to change the fate of the marginalized sections has embarked upon an unprecedented direct benefit transfer through which an amount of rupees 1.82 lakh crores has reached the intended beneficiaries till date in a most transparent manner. During the tough time of COVID, despite strain on finance, state government has provided financial and through Navaratnalu during the period of distress. Jagarana Amabodi, with a motto that no mother shall be deprived of sending her children to school because of poverty, state government is providing annual financial assistance of rupees 15,000 to the poor and needy mothers of the children studying from class 1 to intermediate. The government so far has created rupees 19,617 crores directly into the accounts of 44.49 lakh mothers thereby benefiting 84 lakh children throughout the scheme. Manabadi Nadu Nedu. Under the scheme, total revamp of infrastructure has been taken up in 45,484 government schools, 471 government junior colleges, 151 government degree colleges, 3,287 government hospitals, 55,607 Anganwadi with an expenditure of around 17,805 crores in three phases. Jagananna Gurumuda to ensure good quality, tasty and nutritious midday meals to the children. The revamped midday meals program was launched in the name of Jagannanna Guru Mudda on January 20, 21, 2020. Government is spending an amount of around rupees 1800 crores per year on this scheme. Till now, government has spent 3,239 crores on this scheme. Jagannanna Vidya Kanuka. Every student is providing with a kit consisting of 
bilingual textbooks, notebooks, workbooks, three pairs of uniform with stitching charges, one pair shoes and two pair socks, belt, school bag, and also Oxford English Telugu Dictionary at free of cost. Government have spent rupees 2,368 crores so that so so far by benefiting 47 lakh children throughout the state in this scheme. Jaganana Vidya Devana State Government is reimbursing total fees regularly on a quarterly basis directly into the bank accounts of mothers of students pursuing IIT, Polytechnic degree, Engineering, Medicine and other courses. So far, state government has dispersed an, an amount of 9,051 crores to 24,74,544 beneficiaries under this scheme. English medium with the CBSE syllabus aiming to transform poor students into global citizens, state government has introduced English as a medium of in instruction with the CBSE syllabus from primary level itself. Digital learning marching ahead to transform poor students as global citizens, digital mode learning was introduced towards providing better edu education on par with best schools. As many as 5,18,740 tabs worth rupees 688 crores with preloaded wages Consent worth rupees 778 crores were distributed to 459,569 students of 8th standard. Agriculture. The government accords top priority to the welfare of farmers and the farmers sector as agriculture is the backbone of our state's economy. Crop, crop booking Through a unique initiative, the government is taking up digital recording of area shown in all the crop holding of farmers through e-crop booking for implementation of various Farmers Welfare Programs. Dr. Vyas Raitu Harsakendaru. Our government has established 10,778 RVKs which have effectively evolved as one stop center to meet the farmers' needs by from supply of seeds to sale of crops. Government is arranging supply of pre-certified quality inputs to the farmers to this RBKs. Pradeep procurement. To ensure MSP to the farmers, paddy is procured through RBKs at farm gate without the government, without the involvement of a middleman. So far, 2.88 crore metric ton of paddy was purchased worth 54,140 crores, ensuring MSP to 29.77 29 lakh farmers. YSR Raitu Barsa and PM Kishan. The government is extending YSR Right to Varsha, we gave Kisan assistance of rupees 1300, 5, 13, 
5,500 per year, not only to the farmers cultivating their own lands, but also eligible SC, ST, BC, minority tenant farmers and farmers cultivating the RO, AFR and endowment lands. Government have dispersed so far rupees 25,971 crores to 52.38 lakh farmers in the past three and a half years. Dr. Vaisar Free Crop Insurance. Andhra Pradesh is the only state in India to implement universal crop insurance. Farmers' share of premium was paid by the government on behalf of the farmers for all crops notified under the scheme. So far, government have settled claim of 44.27 lakh farmers got rupees 6,684 crores. Dr. Vaisar Sunaverdi Panta Runar. So far, rupees 1 lakh 44,000, no, 1,442.66 crores of interest sub, subvention was created directly into the account of 73.87 lakh small and marginal farmers who availed crop loans up to 1 lakh and rapid within the stipulated time. Dr. Vaisar Sansara Pasu Aragya Seva the services of Dr. Vyasar Sachara Pasu Aragya Seva with 175 mobile veterinary clinics were launched on 19th May 2022 with an outlay of Rs. 133.58 crores. Health and Family Welfare The quality of health care system defines the governance and is the most important factor for human development in this. Health services are provided by 10,032 Vyasar Village Health Clinic, 1,142 primary health centers, 177 community health centers, 53 area hospitals, 12 district hospitals, 11 teaching hospitals and 50, 15 specialty hospitals. Apart from these, 542 urban PSCs are facilitating health access to the people of the state. To ensure every mandal has two PSCs, government has sanctioned 88 new PSCs Nadu Nadu, in order to provide health care services on the line of Indian public health standards and National Medical Commission guidelines, facilities in all health care institutions are being upgraded under Nadu Nadu. Accordingly, 10,032 OSR village health clinics 528 urban health clinics, 1,124 PSCs, 121 CSCs, 42 ASS are being upgraded. Government is establishing 70, 17 new medical colleges with an attached nursing college with an outlay of rupees. 8,480 crores to ensure best medical care. A total amount of around rupees 16,823 crores is being spent on revamping medical infrastructure in the state. Health 
health staff recruitment. State government is moving ahead with a firm resolve to ensure that no post is left vacant in government hospitals. As on date, a total of 48,639 courses, including 3,899 specialists, 2,088 medical officers, 5,777 staff nurses, 1,032 MLSPS, 13,540 ANMS, 13, 13,303 paramedicals and support staff in various health facilities have been recruited. Dr. Vyasar Aravsi scheme. Dr. Vyasar Aravsi scheme was launched in the year 2007 by the then Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, let Dr. Vyas Rajshikar Reddy. Since 2019, the ceiling limit of annual income eligibility under Dr. Vyasar Aravsi's scheme has been enhanced to Rs. 5 lakhs per family. All the medical procedures costing over Rs. 1,000 are brought under Aravsi. Amount 95% of the population in the state is covered. Aravsi scheme coverage is extended to hospitals in the cities in other states also. 104 and 108 services revamped. A total of 1,444 vehicles have been introduced by this government to ensure emergency and regular medical services at the doorstep of the people. Dr. Vyasar Pali Vida Express. State government is taking complete responsibility of expectant mothers due for delivery till they return home after safe delivery in government hospitals by providing transportation facility in 108 vehicle from their home to hospital and from hospital to home. Family Physician Program. The concept of family physician is the brainchild of Chief Minister Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy, uh, uh, aiming, uh, aiming to provide health care to the people at their doorstep. Society for Elimination of Rural Poverty. YSL Pension Kanuka. YSL Pension Kanuka is one of the flagship programs of Navaratnalu. As part of the Navaratnalu, enhancement of pension amount is a major welfare measure. The government have enhanced the social security pension amount for old age pensions, widow, toddy tapers, weavers, single women, fishermen, traditional cobblers from Rs. 2,500 to 2,750 per month from December 2022, payable from 1st January 2023. Under this program, every month an amount of seventeen thousand six hundred zero five crores is dispersed to sixty four point six lakh pensioners on the first day of every month at the doorstep of the pensioners. Our government has spent a whooping Rupees 
303 crores towards payment of pensions during the past three and uh, half years. Women Empowerment Oyesara Asara As per the election promise met to reimburse the outstanding debts of SSG women as on 11th April 2019, which amounted to Rs. 25,517 crores, our government has launched YSR Asara scheme to repay this outstanding amount in equal installment in four years. YSR Chautha. YSR Chautha is a unique welfare program to extend financial assistance of Rs. 75,000 in four years continuously at the rate of Rs. 18,750 per annum to the poor women belonging to SC, ST, BC and minorities in the age group of 45 to 60 years towards livelihood purposes. OSR Kapunestan, the state government is extending financial assistance of Rs. 75,000 under OSR Kapunestan in five years at the rate of 15,000 per year to women in the age group of 45 to 60 years belonging to Kapu, Baliza, Telga and Ontary communities towards livelihood purposes. So far the government have dispersed an amount of Rs. 1,518 crores directly into the bank account of 3,56,143 eligible beneficiaries. YSR, EBC, Nastam, aiming towards the financial empowerment of women belonging to economically backward classes, the state government has launched YSR, EBC, Nastam, and providing financial assistance of 15,000 per year to the women in the age group of 45 to 60 years. So far, the government have dispersed an amount of rupees 590 crores directly into the bank account of 3,93,537 eligible women beneficiaries. Other welfare programs, free power, state government is providing free power up to 200 units per month to 17.44 lakh SC households with an expenditure of rupees 40 crores. Statue of Dr. V. R. Ambedkar as a great tribute to the architect of our constitution, government is installing 125 feet statue of Baba Sahib Bhimrao Ramaji Ambedkar and developing a park in an extent of 18.81 acres at Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Swaraj Maidan in Vijayawada with an estimated cost of Rs. 268 crores. Village Ward Secretariat and Volunteer System to fulfill the vision Gram Swarajam of Mahatma Gandhi. Government has established 15,000 poor village war, village war secretariats which are aim to deliver the benefit of welfare schemes to all the eligible persons irrespective of their caste, creed, religion, region, gender and political affiliation on saturation basis in a time-bound, transparent and corruption-free manner. 2.65 lakh volunteers are distributing pensions to the beneficiaries even before 
sunrise on the first day of every month apart from many other services. Dr. Narana Thodu, the government of Andhra Pradesh introduced a new scheme called Jagannana Thodu for providing financial assistance up to rupees 10,000 to petty traders and the artisans engaged in traditional handicrafts, which is great relief to these people in times of COVID-19 pandemic situation. Godapa, Godapa Kuru, Mana Prabhuttum. Andhra Pradesh has witnessed an unprecedented welfare and development momentum during the last three and a half years, and government has taken up the program under which MLAs are visiting all households in their jurisdiction right from 11th May 2022 to create awareness among the persons on government welfare schemes and to address their grievances. Navaratnalu Peta Landariki Ilu Government is committed to provide permanent houses to all eligible people by 2024 by providing house sites and housing in the name of Pedala Nariki Ilu, which is included in the government flagship program of Navaratnalu. Government proposed to take out 30.20 lakh houses with a project cost of 54,360 crores. So far, 18.63 lakh houses with a project cost of 33,544 crores were taken up and 2.3 lakh houses were completed and the remaining houses are at various stages of construction. YSR Jagarana Leo Government is committed to developing OSR Jagannana layouts by providing all required infrastructure facilities like water supply, electricity, approach roads, internal roads, drains, and welcome arches at a cost of about rupees 34,000 crores. Industries and commerce. I am happy that government is taking number of initiatives to attract the investments into the state. For the period of June 2019 to 31st December 2022, the investment in Pro has been robust with establishment of 109 large industries with an investment of rupees 54,000 to 36 crores. MSME sector 1,45,496 units are established with an investment of rupees 72,608 crores, providing employment to 11,19,000. 944 persons. Andhra Pradesh is categorized as top achiever in the ease of doing business under the Business Reform Action Plan for the year 2020-21 released by DP IIT. IIT. Government of India in June 2022. Andhra Pradesh is ranked number one in the state business reform action plan released by Government of India and the World Bank. The GSDP growth rate of Andhra Pradesh 
is 11.43 percent at constant prices during 2021-22, higher than the national GDP growth of 8.9 percent. The per capita income increased to rupees 1 lakh. 70,215 in 2020-21 from rupees 1 lakh 68,480. Three ports and nine fishing harbors. Our government has taken revolutionary step to change the facade of the coastal area of Andhra Pradesh with the construction of nine fishing harbors with. World class infrastructure to benefit the fishermen. Panchayat Raj and Rural Development. MG NREGS Andhra Pradesh occupies fifth place in the country in generating of 1,871 lakh mandates. Amount spent on road by R and B and PR and RD department under various schemes. Road and building department has taken up 5,189 kilometer length of road work, which comprise of new connectivity improvement, repairs pertaining to national highways. State highways, major DC roads, and rural roads during the year 2022 to 2023, with an expenditure of 2,173 crores. Under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Jodhana, during the last one year, 992 kilometers BT roads were laid at a cost of 502 crores. Irrigation. Government is committed to complete the major ongoing irrigation projects, which were taken up under Jalagna to provide water for irrigation, drinking, and industrial requirements in the district of the state, as one of the flagship program under Navaratna. Mekapati Gautam Reddy Sangam Barrage and Nellor Barrage across Vena River in SP Pesar Nellor district were completed and inaugurated by the Honorable Chief Minister on 6-9-2022 to stabilize eye cut under Penar Delta system. the Kaveli Canal and Karnapuru Canal. Government is committed to complete Polavaram project, which is a lifeline of Andhra Pradesh, giving it highest priority, and all measures are being taken to complete the R&R works simultaneously by rehabilitation of PDA families. Jagajiman Ram, Uttarandhra, Sujala, Sarvanti project is taken up with a cost of rupees 15,448 crores to lift 63.2 TMC of river Godavari surplus water to provide irrigation facilities to 8 lakh acres. In Bishakapatam, Vijayanagaram, and Sikakulam districts. Municipal administration: Jagannatha, Haritha, Nagaralu. Jagannatha, Haritha, Nagaralu program is aimed to improve the visibility of cities in this state by developing greenery in municipal roads. Along with medians, roadside, etc., adding 
beauty and keeping them near and clean law and order due to effective functioning of andhra pradesh police crime has gone down significantly in 2022 this was made possible through innovative policing measures disha application to help women in justice disha application was launched by our government and has received tremendous response with over 1.36 crore rp download till date and 1.11 crore registered users in order to effectively maintain law and order and to control the crime 40 new police subdivisions 19 new circles and two police stations have been set up and 21 police stations have been upgraded good governance formation of new districts formation of new revenue divisions our government has taken major steps towards decentralization and form 13 new districts thus taking the total number of districts to 26 with 25 newly created revenue divisions the total of revenue divisions is increased to 76 वैसर जगन्ना स्वस्थ भू हाकू मौर्य भू रखा पंथान आवर्स इज दि फास्ट स्टेट इन दि कंट्री हुई आज अंडरटेकन ए कॉन्फिडेंसिव लैंड रिसर्वे आफ्टर हंड्रेड इयर्स यूजिंग दि मोस्ट मॉडर्न एंड एडवांस सर्वे टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर दि बेस्ट एक्यूरेसी अप टू फाइव सी the main objective of this scheme are to ensure the land owner's title security by providing bhu haku pratham and to secure boundaries by planning bhu rakha survey stones free of cost the resurvey project is being taken up in 17584 villages spread across 2.26 crores across acres of agricultural lands and 85 lakh acres government and private lands i conclude by assuring that the welfare best development and growth of our state would continue in the same spirit in the days so that our state will become top state in the country under the dynamic leadership and human terian approach of the chief minister c ys jagan mohan reddy on this day let us all pledge to rededicate ourselves to the service of the nation and for welfare of the poor and downtrodden people of the society joy